here in Mamusa Monastery in the Kalamun Mountains in Syria, monasticism was deeply rooted in Syria from the fourth century, and there are many monast desert monasteries in, in the country. Mamusa is famous, it's, it, it dates to about the eighth century, and the paintings here are world famous and cover much of the church. Um, for many years, in the last uh, 50 or 60 years, Mamusa has been a, a popular center for uh, Christian-Muslim dialogue and a place of uh, worship in, in, in Syria. Um, so it's, it's, it represents uh, the ancient Christian presence in Syria and the community is still here. In fact, some of the community stayed, have stayed throughout the conflict um, and they are still here and people, small numbers of people are still visiting and they're committed to that engagement. Here we are at the 6th century monastery of Mamusa with Sister Dima. Sister Dima, how did you come to be here and why did you come here? Uh, so, you're welcome. Uh, I come from the city of Homs. Uh, uh, the first time I came to, uh, to the monastery was uh, with a group of, uh, of young people. I was in my university and uh, it was for a spiritual exercise that we came uh, up here. And uh, I was deeply attracted by the place so that I started to come uh, every year. Mm. And uh, finally in 2002, uh, I decided really to pass uh, more time here yeah. and uh, I had occasion to come uh, and work in the library of, of the monastery. Uh, so uh, uh, coming here slowly slowly I got to know uh, more the, 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 the community, the vocation of the community and uh, after a period I made a long uh, spiritual exercises and I really felt that God really is asking me to uh, to consecrate myself in this place, so I remained from that time on. Wonderful. And so the work of the monastery, it's, uh, it's, it's, I know it's quite well known internationally, mm -hmm. and what has been the main ministry of the monastery here? So, uh, well, actually our, our life is a life that is based on three priorities, uh, the life of prayer, uh, life of prayer is, uh, uh, well, uh, for monks and nuns, it's, it's uh, uh, and for a monastery, life mm. of prayer is yeah. the absolute uh, <laughs> main, uh, main uh, <laughs> priority. number one uh, priority. So uh, it's, uh, it's to live how, uh, uh, in a way that God is, uh, is enough for you. And, uh, and through, of course, through your relationship with mm. God, you are going to have yes. relationships with others. But uh, yes. how God can be the, the number one in, yes. your, in your life. So we have a life of prayer uh, that uh, is organized uh, mm. in a community prayer and also in a personal prayer. Uh, the second priority is the priority of manual work. Uh, well, um, we, we are a little bit based on, on, on the text of, of, of creation when God uh, has asked Adam and Eve to take care of, of, of the land, uh, of the earth. And uh, for us, it's uh, the life of manual work is a kind of uh, co-participation in the creation. So we, we have uh, the, the everyday work of, of, uh, of the uh, monastery. Uh, we have uh, uh, the chicken, we, ha we make cheese, uh, we make candles, we have some agricultural uh, interest for that because also we feel uh, how important it is to, to work. Mm. And the third uh, priority of, of our life is life of uh, hospitality, uh, based on the example of Abraham who received God in his tent. Mm. So for us, uh, hospitality, it is as if God is coming to visit us in each of our visitors. So we don't ask any um, uh, anything from our visitors, who are mm. they, from where yeah. they are coming. And we, because we, we believe of that each one is unique and he is a messenger of God uh, okay. for us. Mm. Uh, and uh, all these priorities open into uh, a, a big horizon of Christian Islamic dialogue. Okay. And the role of, uh, of the church in this uh, land, uh, in this Middle East, our role as church in uh, the, the, the majority of uh, uh, an Islamic context. So we, uh, we, we try to do all our best to live in this context and to believe in uh, the coexistence and uh, uh, good relationship between Christians and Muslims. Thank you very much. And you've been exemplary in that in so many ways in bringing Christians and Muslims together mm -hmm. here.
particularly prior to the Grand Prix Yeah, we, we have been uh, organizing a lot, a lot of conferences or a lot of meetings between uh, little groups of Christians and Muslims, either uh, lay people or uh, Muslim and Christian leaders. Yeah. And uh, well, the, the main point is that how to get to know the, know the other, exactly. because ignorance is one the first enemy of of, uh, of dialogue. Yeah. So if you ignore what the other is living, what is his spiritual life, what kind of life he's living, uh, it's easy to to enter into the uh, prejudice, prejudice, and yes. uh, you, you can you can just uh, put the other far away from from your own life. So our main way was really try to put Christians and Muslims together so that they get to know each other. Uh, so we were choosing like a kind of uh, a, th a theme and uh, from both sides we were thinking uh, or hearing about how others, the other is living this. And in a way there was also some common moments of uh, deep spiritual uh, condivision in a way that uh, we, we, we tried to create a kind of uh, a, a nu nuclear, nuclear <laughs> something like family. little little family that can also spread uh, yes. this uh, this uh, little experience in, in their own societies. Uh, very interesting. One uh, one of the times uh, was that we were inviting uh, Christians, telling them to bring uh, up in the monastery a Muslim friend. Right, and lovely. vice versa, yes. when we were inviting a Muslim, we were saying, bring your Christian friend with you so that uh, they can live something together and uh, going back to the society, they they will be spreading also this experience that they live yes. here so they can be also them by themselves also the messenger of this kind of real uh, yeah. spiritual meeting uh, between That's Christians wonderful. and Muslims. That is wonderful. That's a really inspirational message mm. and, and our prayers are with you in the, in the ongoing work. Mm and um, in these difficult times, and mm. all you've been through as well. Thank mm. you so much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you for Thank welcoming you for us and your hospitality. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, you. We pray for all the Syrians all over Syria, and uh, we hope that uh, we can overcome this, uh, this crisis. And I believe that uh, each, uh, each human being has a good thing in him, and uh, we can walk towards peace if we are convinced by our deep humanity. You know? Yes, absolutely. Let's hope. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. God bless you. You're welcome. Thank you.